Hi everyone, my name is Daisy. Welcome to my channel, Oopsie Daisy DIYs and more. If you enjoyed a video, please give that video a thumbs up. This helps YouTube to notice my channel a bit more. Also, I would love it if you shared my videos or channel with your friends. I will be sharing DIYs, chalk couture, lots of cross stitch, works in progress, finished cross stitch, and I will also do some finishing some of my cross stitch on my channel. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, a click on the bell so you get notified when I upload a video. Thank you so very much for your support. I really appreciate it. Hugs and love to all of you, and thank you for sharing and supporting my channel. I love you. Okay, let's see. This, this video is going to be kind of all over the place. I tried to do a video yesterday, and I just messed it up. <laughs> so, first off, I... I did this yesterday <laughs> and I can't show you, show you but I'm going to do another because I've got another one here that I'm going to clean up and replace the stencil on that one. Um, whoops. Okay, so I'm going to wipe this off. I got a damp cloth, so you have to kind of rub a little hard on some of the pieces. It just it comes off pretty easy. I tried to soak it a little bit so it wouldn't be so difficult. But I guess the thicker fonts are going to be a little harder to rub off. But it comes off. Okay, almost done. All right. Let me grab a paper towel to help. I don't know what that marks from. Okay. Um, okay. Where's my paper towels? <laughs> Alrighty, probably dry before I get back. Okay, my craft room is a mess, everyone. <laughs> I need to tear out this carpet and put some, you know, linoleum in or something. Wood floors. I don't know. The dogs, uh, the shepherd, pretty much tore up my backyard, so we're trying to figure, figure out what to do back there, because it's all dirt and mud. Okay, so what I'm going to do is this stencil here. Be kind to yourself today. And my chalk is over there. That's okay. Okay. So I'm going to fuzz it up. Real good. I don't think it's going to need that much. Maybe a couple times is good. And I'm going to lay that down. I just love these stencils because I can change it out to whatever I want. Um, also, if you want to take a break here, if you want to become, join my uh, group, you have two options. You got the business basics. So, I mean, if you can't afford the $99 or 127 Canadian, do the basic and you get 40% off. Your purchases after after that 
and I think you get a you also get the monthly things or you can do the 99 and you get all this stuff which my first video shows me opening my first my box of goodies <laughs> so that was fun so I really recommend joining if you want the stencils so you because you get 40% off oops close that up okay I decided to go with pink <laughs> so that's pretty simple messed up yesterday's video that I had planned to post I also tried uh, my editing program that I have and it's just not going to work it's just too old so I'll, now I have to invest in a, a video editing program which I'm kind of looking now to see which one is the best one for me because I need something that's going to be easy because I'm uh, I have a hard time reading my uh, attention <laughs> period is not good I kind of jump all over the place okay all you do is take this off I have a little bit bleeding but I can take care of that very simple okay let me uh, I'm gonna put my stencil on this here rag so it doesn't get messed up and I recommend you save your things for the to put the stencil back I uh, messed up doing the um, the bunnies I uh, couldn't find it so I uh, put it <laughs> I put it on the plastic that it came in well not good it uh, stuck to the plastic and now I can't get the plastic off I'm spraying it with water so I'm gonna let that sit so it doesn't stain so that's nice what do you guys think be kind to yourself today great reminder so I'm gonna put that aside okay now um, hold on I put my plastic sheet over here before I lose it everything's falling over I really need to get in my craft room <laughs> oh boy okay this I have to wash too I'm gonna set that over here okay so I did prep this frame this was a old plastic frame so I did a 50 50 with paint and uh now I'm drawing a blank of course oh gosh not baking soda baking soda baking soda yes <laughs> so 50 50 paint and baking soda and that gives you this texture here which is pretty cool so I'm doing that uh, for this here this is a Lizzie Kate design getting old isn't for sissies boy that that the truth <laughs> okay so I did this I took a piece of cardboard and I put some uh, batting on 
and I went ahead and ironed so I didn't I knew the would know the placings so I don't take up too much time recording once I get my editing program I can be a little bit more lenient on that okay well, this is what I do I go from corner to corner and this corner and this corner and I got this from uh, Priscilla on stitching with the housewives okay it looks looks good I think it looks good okay I'm gonna do the the long sides I want a little glue under these here so get a crisp corner okay I'm going to go across okay this is okay I need there we go and I'm going to do the other side the same way and take a look you can, you can fudge it a little bit if you need okay now I do the bottom okay well I tell you I really miss my uh, sure bonder cordless <laughs> glue gun. Uh, like I said I I messed that I broke that up by putting some uh, glue sticks I picked up from a estate sale last year we went to a lot of estate sales I mean so many that the people in charge knew who by name <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna go to any this year because we just went to so many I think we only missed a few each week okay well I wanted that closer to the bottom but I think that's gonna be where it's at okay it looks good okay and I pre pre did the pre did this I kind of put a spot of glue here and there cut I need to cut okay so I'm gonna glue this around so I'm gonna put a little glue here there take a look that's where I want it Okay, then I'm going to kind of fold it like so. Put a dab there. It's kind of like mitering, I think. <laughs> okay. I've also done some quilting, but mostly for, I did it all for my grandchildren years ago and hopefully they still have them you know life things happen and they don't keep in touch you know life I guess it's sad I have my moments I miss them it'd be nice nice if they uh, called once in a while okay let's see 
anyway. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. Okay, I'm going to cut this here. If I can get my scissors. <laughs> okay. Oh, shoot. I should have done the other thing. All right, so I'm going to kind of put this over here. All right. Oh, gosh. Hope that's okay. All right. There we go. I think that's cute, pretty cute. Good colors, I think. Um, all right. Then I have my frame, and I have this which I put batting on larger this fit will fit in the frame I'm going to put this fabric on the same way I did this my cross stitch so I'll do that real quick uh, also I did iron it let's see okay there this might be a long video because <laughs> I have some things that I wanted to show. And I think this is more of a floss tube today because I have a lot of uh, cross stitch Whip, whips works in progress that I want to show. And let's see. Oops. Close that. Okay. Oh. Glue is hot. <laughs> All right. Oh, man, I'm going to put that in there. That should do it. All right. Um, let me see. Oh, that's hot. See if that fits. Okay. Yes, I don't know. I might. I don't know if I can put the backing on. I had backing right here. Let me see. That would be nice if I could put this on and slide it in. I haven't tested it, so I don't know. I took the glass out and used it as a template for my uh, cardboard here. Whoops, let's go under. Perfect. Look at that. All right. Now, gosh, I didn't even need that. <laughs> it's covering the whole thing. Oh, well. Um, I think, I think what I'm going to do is uh, maybe put magnets on those. And I don't know where my magnets are. <laughs> oh boy. Boy, my, this room is all combobulated. It's a mess. It is a mess. Maybe today I will work down here and get it more organized. But it's pretty bad. Okay, anyway, I'm going to... <sighs> Maybe put the backing on this and put some magnets on there and put it on. I don't know. Or should I just glue it on and be done with it? Then I need to put some a hook or something to hang it or something. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just talking. Okay, so that's that. Um... Let's see. I wanted to show everyone. Oh, shoot. My battery pack fell. Okay. Okay. I showed this already. And. So, I'm going to show my purchases first. 
and I'm missing my big my big red book. Boy oh boy. I'm missing one. One of my items I purchased. I wanted to show. Gosh darn. Why does this happen? Oh, there it is. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So, first off, I won this on Nisi Lynn's channel. And I will, oh, I will link her channel be below. Everything's falling. Okay. So, I bought the, no, I won this by Nisi Lynn on Nisi Lynn's channel and I will link her channel below. She sent me a really cute little card. So thank you Nisi. I'm going to enjoy that one for sure. Okay then I purchased from 123 Stitch the Prairie Schooler Santa. I got a... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh my gosh. Um, hopefully that's not... Oh my. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's okay. Oh well. Prairie Schooler Santa. I hope I don't get in trouble. Um, then on Facebook I won this one. I purchased this one from a gal. It's a Shepherd's Bush St. Nick Folio. And I know there was a few other ones, but I don't know where they're at. Okay, anyway, so I got that. And then I just got this in the mail yesterday. I'm on Annie's Oh my gosh, I can't think of it's a, her store. Oh well, anyway, I got this from from her and he's cross stitch. I don't know, I can't remember. Ba a banner year. So I think I get this like every quarter quarterly with uh the Rick Rack. So that's gonna be fun to do. Okay, next, before I put my uh, Easter things away, oh wait, 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 I also got this from 123, this is the book I thought I couldn't find, <laughs> Red Letter Day by Teresa Vinette, this is an awesome book, I love Redwood, red, red work, oh gosh, okay, um, Here's the table of contents. Pretty cool. A lot of fun things to read. History. Emma Lopper, 1849. And don't want to show any of the cross stitch patterns. Okay, then we have, what's this one called? Anna Legoya. This is a simple pillow. Fun. And this one is Maggie Walsh. Okay, that one uses two, two colors. Okay, and this is anonymous. Don't know who did this one. I guess that's the one. And this is the original. That's kind of neat to see. Um, I'm clicking through pages because I don't want to any copyright. <laughs> Hedwig Kindler, 1905 to 1906. Very pretty. And let's see if there's any more. Oh, I don't know if you guys can hear my washer. I'm doing laundry today. 
<laughs> I'm always busy. Always, always, always busy. So much to do. Okay. Okay, before, yeah, this is where I'm at. Before I put any, any of these away, I'm going to show you, oops, my Easter things. Let's see. These are Lizzie Kate's Spring. These are going to be all put away today. Hop. That was fun to do. Um, hoppy, hop, happy, hoppy Easter. That's a little pillow that's filled with uh, sawdust. And if you've not tried that, give it a try. That's that's pretty neat. Oh, shoot, where's my other pillow? Here we go. Basket. This is also filled with sawdust. Put a little heart and a bow, red bow on that. And it's got a little dragonfly here. Put on there. And this is the string series. Spring, I think. That was fun. It's backed. This is fabric and pom poms. Put around there. Um, this one I think is um, with a needle and thread. If I'm wrong, somebody correct me. That was a fun stitch. I really like doing that one. This is another fun one. I can't remember who did this. Who created this? Life needs more chocolate bunnies. And it's got the little pom-poms you put on. Carrots. So cute. This is um, stitching with the housewives. I need to do more of those, but they crank them out so fast I just can't keep up. There's so many th other things I want to stitch. <laughs> then I did this one. I think this is with I needle and thread, but I don't know the name, so somebody please put the name of this. This I keep out all year round because I was working on this while my little pup was on my lap passing away peacefully. I just held her. Okay, <laughs> I'm crying. Okay, gotta stop. Okay, I think, is that it? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm working on, this is a whip. This is has to do with, um, oh gosh. Stitch, not to stitch mania. Um, whip go. I was going to bring the board down so I could explain it better. So that's going to be later, I guess. But I they drew two, two, not two numbers. And uh, this is one that got picked. The other one was uh, was this one here, which I finished. <laughs> And okay, this, these are works in progress. I don't want to show the, okay. These are for my grandchildren. This is the one I'm working on at the moment. I'm not going to say who it's for, because <laughs> just in case they do click on my and watch my video here. Uh, isn't that cute? So that'll be a stocking. And that's by Shepherd's Bush. Let me see. I have. Yes. Oh, that yeah. uh, Shepherd's Bush. I did it on pet on pink. Oh, I don't know the count. Let me see. I think I followed what they suggested. 
18 count. No, that's not 18 count. Gosh, I don't remember. I should write these things down. Okay. Then I'm working on uh, another one here. I just started. Um, that's the back. <laughs> I just started on this one. So I want to get the other one finished first and then I'll go on to this one. And that's what this one's going to look like. And I will probably do more. I have a lot of uh, shepherd bush stockings. Uh, they're just fun to, fun to work with. This is three threads over two. Whatever the count is. I don't know what the count is. Anyway, I wanted it to be pretty big. I think, let me see, this one. I'm also doing, I think, three over four. I think I'm doing that. Gosh, I'm going to have to figure that out. It's been a while since I worked on this. I think this is three over four threads. And I think this is like 28 count. See, it's been a while since I worked on this. That's why it's important to uh, write things down. <laughs> Okay, whip go. I did bring my board down. Let me take it out so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is the board. You have whip go and then you have one, two, three, four, five and they call out, you know, the letters and this is the one I'm working on. Granddaughter stocking. I, I Put in 15 days for this month. I want to get in work time. Um, if these are the ones I finished, and I need to get back to body threads, moo. Maybe I'll bring up these next video and show you what I'm working on. The numbers, new numbers, will be drawn at the end of this month for next month. Okay, I think that is it. I don't have anything else to share at the moment. So play. Oh yes, one thing. I wanted to thank Annie from Indiana Jones, Colleen with Stitching with the Sisterlies, and Llama's Creations DIY Tammy for sign signing, not signing. If, um, ex oh, I can't think. Not not clicking on the. Uh, well, they did click the like too, but they signed. You know, they signed on. <laughs> I can't think of the words. <laughs> but thank you for your support. Okay, so remember to like click on the like button um oh gosh click on the like button give me a thumbs up and share 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 i love you guys thank you again for all your support bye